Hi guys, welcome to Prisha's Dreamland, where life's a dream. Today, we'll be reading the book, Mimi and Her Busy Mom. Let's get started right away. Mimi loves going to school. She wakes up early, gets herself dressed, and combs her beautiful curly hair. Mom, mom, wake up. Time to go to work. Time to go to school, Mimi shouts. Mimi has a fun day at school with all her friends. At the end of her day, she waves goodbye and waits for her mom to pick her up. But where is her mom? All the other children have gone home and Mimi feels tired and hungry. She waits and waits with the teacher. Eventually, her mom arrives. Sorry for making you wait, darling, she says. I was busy at work. Mimi knows that her mom works very hard as a children's doctor, but she does not like being forgotten. In the evening, Mimi's mom reads her a story. She reads the first page, and then she reads the second page. But when she starts to read the third page, she falls asleep. The next morning, Mimi says, I don't want you to work anymore, Mom. Why? Her mom asks. If you stopped working, cries Mimi, you could collect me from school on time. You could have supper with me and you would read me stories right to the end. But Mimi, my job is very important. There are sick children who need my help, her mom replies. I'm not going to give up work, darling, her mom says, but I will have a surprise for you tomorrow. What is it? Mimi asks excitedly. It wouldn't be a surprise if I told you, she laughs. The next day, Mimi's mom takes a whole day off of work. She arrives at school as soon as the bell rings. The first surprise is that we're going to the theme park. Mimi really enjoys going to the theme park with her mom. The second surprise is that we're going to your favorite restaurant, she says. Mimi really enjoys going to her favorite restaurant with her mom. For the third surprise, I'm taking you to my clinic so you can see what I do there, her mom says. At the clinic, Mimi finds post-it notes of all colors lots of paper clips, different kinds of pens, and a red stapler. She draws in colors on the notebooks and makes a necklace from the paper clips. Mimi finds a white coat and a stethoscope. She pretends to be a doctor and listens to her mom's heartbeat. Her mom explains how she looks after the sick children. She shows her all the tools she uses, like the pointy tool for looking in ears and the flat wooden stick for looking in throats. Can I stand on the weighing scales, Mum? asks Mimi. Of course you can, she says. Look how quickly you've grown. On their way home, Mimi says, Your surprises were great, Mum. Mimi has had the best day ever. After she gets ready for bed, Mimi's mom reads her the story of Adeline from the start to the end. Are there any other surprises, mom? asks Mimi. Her mom kisses her. No, not today. Will I have a surprise for you, says Mimi. Mimi hugs her mom and says, when I grow up, I want to be just like you, mom, because you're the best mom in the world. Like, share, and subscribe for more.